Okay, so next up is creating our shadows. Now, on my original picture, as you can see here, there it's all flat colors. There are no shadows for me to actually see in order to create over here. So, I am not going to use that, and I'm going to have to create some shadows myself. So let's start working. So I'm on my shadows layer, and I'm not on my flat colors layer. If I turn my brushes off, I'll see just the shapes that I'm going to be cutting into. So you can choose to keep your brushes on or off. I'm going to keep them on just because uh, they'll help me see a little bit better my whole picture as I'm making these shadow shapes. So what I want to do is click on the shape that I want to start cutting shadows into. So I'm going to start here. And I need to go to my knife tool. So it should be in with the eraser tool. So there it is, nestled in at the bottom, knife tool. So with it selected, I'm going to start thinking about how I want to cut into this shape in order to make some shadows. So I think I want to create a shadow kind of going on the back here. So here I have my shape selected. I need to make sure that I'm starting outside my shape and I need to cut all the way through it and keep cutting into it and out of it. Think of it like this shape is a piece of paper. I can't just start cutting right here on top of the paper. I have to start at the edge of the paper. So, and you don't have to do this all in one click as well. So I'll stop there. There's one cut. And I'll maybe make it. Oh, I need to cut through. Keep that there. So I'll cut through it right here. Oh, I need, I need to redo that. Cut through it there. And then I think I'll cut through. I'll cut through here. And then maybe up into here. Cut there, come back down, cut up there, maybe here, I'm just going to throw out his tail here, I think I'll uh, redo that, I think I'll stop right there, so I have to go all the way through it. Now if I did this right, click back on my move tool, click off. And there's the shape I cut out. And I'm just going to double click on my colors here and choose a darker, darker brown. And I'll select this shape again, go back to my knife tool, and uh, I'll cut through right here as well. Select that, get my eyedropper tool, and just select that color. So there's a little bit of shadow. Now let's go ahead and do some on his arm. I'll select his arm. Get my knife tool. And I'll think about how I want to cut shadow into his arm here. Yeah, I think I'll start cutting here, down, maybe right into there. So there's one part, select it again, go back to my knife tool, and if I turn off my brush, as you see, I'll zoom in, right, I can start cutting right here as well. So I'm going to cut all the way down here also. Right through. Select that shape. Press I for my eyedropper tool. Select that brown again. Then I'll select this again. And I think I will cut right through there 
looks like my eyedropper. And we'll keep cutting through this arm here some. So just make sure you select the shape that you want to start cutting into. Try it again. All the way through it there. Start down here, cut there, cut here, cut there, and keep cutting maybe about right there. Select off of it so I can select the shape I just cut and apply my brown to it. Well, and this would be my whole process as I go through all of uh, all of my character here, trying to figure out where would be the right place to add some shadows so I can click both of these and I'll probably add some on his his belly here as well let's go right through it and click that shape and that shape and double click there and just make it a little bit darker like so come into his eyes and do the same thing. Cut all the way through it there. Feel a little bit darker. So you can see it'd be a little bit of a process as I go through my entire vector here, deciding where to add and how to add these shadows. And like I said, you can select more than one area if you know you want to cut through more than one area. So for instance, on this, I would want to cut through the entire block of gray here, but I have this little shape and I also have this shape. So I want to select one, hold shift, select the other and then I'll be able to cut straight through both of them. Okay, that is all for the shadows layer.